Hello, welcome uh, to our weekly um, webinar or weekly video. I would like to welcome everyone for those who don't know me. My name is Christian Walter from TradeVola and uh, I would like to show you some more details about trading, some really important information and for this I would like to take you here to my computer. Yeah, today we want to talk about uh, Bitcoin and the possible reasons uh, why the price uh, dropped in the last days and also a short our, um, outlook for the next days. We want to do this here with the um, daily future chart of Bitcoin. Um, first of all, maybe some sentence to the uh, um, analysis techniques or indicators I'm using here. First of all, it's uh, very simple moving exponential um, moving average EMA uh, with a length of 100 days and 50 days. Uh, 50 days of course the one who is closer to the um, chart itself with the blue color and below um, with the um, yeah, price here at $45,000 um, the 100 days exponential average. Then for me, it's important to see the volume, volume average um, um, in the volume itself. Um, yeah, we can only see then uh, that um, in August, the volume really increased for the future in total. Um, but other than this, um, it's always in interested, interesting to see some um, big volumen, volumen spikes here. Um, but in the last days, I would say, this was all around the average, most of the days even below the average. Um, so nothing um, really important from the volume side, but in general, volume is always a uh, very important uh, analysis for me for the charting um, when we have this information. RSI, I think this is one of the basic uh, indicators um, what everyone knows. Momentum is also quite interesting because uh, if you see here in the momentum, when the momentum exactly changed, it was um, one day after the um, all-time high of the Bitcoin here on the 15th of April. 14th of April, we had the all-time high in the Bitcoin and uh, one day later, momentum changed and then we saw the next days um, the yeah, massive um, drop of the price of the Bitcoin. And um, I think the last, um, indicator here average to range shows me just the volatility um, based here on um, one candle and we can see for example today um, it already had a um, movement of seven thousand um, dollars and um, in the end we see the increasement of the average to range in total um, that's also something um, what is uh, very important because um, the price um, increased so much in the last uh, months that of course the average true range uh, based on the price level um, must also be on a um, much higher level but in percentage you can also um, change the display to see what's the average true range for example in percentage. So this is the basic setup. I also have a horizontal line here at $45,000. Um, I think this is a really main support. It's uh, not only because my exponential moving average is here with the length of um, 100 days. It's also, let me use the pen here, um, an important support what we see end or so end of February, beginning um, of March as well as here in the middle of March where this also already started to begin a very important um, support for the Bitcoin. Yeah, and other than with um, stocks, it's uh, really hard if we compare like um, different um, um, yeah, experts um, who say like Bitcoin price is definitely at the end of the year at 100,000 or 150,000. I think it's really hard to predict exactly a level where it can be and um, I also don't understand exactly how they get uh, price targets in the stock. I think there's a little bit more information or some news or earnings or um, some other um, information what you can check and where you can uh, generate a price target for a stock. Um, here it's a bit more difficult, that's why we want to concentrate on the chart analyze it itself. Um, first of all, um, what you can see in the moving averages that um, the uptrend, uh, I would say, is still intact uh, or still like active. Um, the only thing what is important now here, 
that uh, 40, 45,000 um, dollar points, that the price is not going below this um, level, below, below this um, price. Um, other than this, um, we also have to check the total numbers because, um, as I said, starting at the end already in December, here in middle December, where the price was um, at $20,000. We reached here $65,000 in middle of April as an all-time high. This is already um, double the price what we had in the middle of um, December. So first of all, when a price uh, increased so much, there's always uh, a return. Now the last one or a drop in the price, um, the last one was not so big what uh, we saw in the last few days. But in the end, um, when you can see like always check the highest price in a um, certain amount of candles. Then you see the next um, price was even higher than the high before. That's also an important, um, very important information for chart analysis. The next low, um, what we see here was higher than um, the one before. And this is a normal, um, I would say, long-term uptrend uh, with volatility. The only difference what we have now here that um, this low is of course lower than uh, what we saw before, um, but as long as this support uh, level will um, not be reached or there will be no price below, I don't have um, any concerns um, that there will be a big um, down movement for the moment. Um, of course, the um, six percent what the Bitcoin made today, it's also a big important because this might be the beginning of um, what we saw in um, the last two months as well, a new uptrend. And then it's important to see, can Bitcoin reach again the 65,000 or can it go above the 65,000? Um, from now on, when I see the candle today, um, there should be a very high possibility then that this price can be reached um, again already in the next um, one or two weeks. Um, all the other indication um, also don't say anything very negative. Um, I mean, as I, it's important if it's over um, sold, I would say this already like um, a possible entry um, point, but uh, this is exactly what we saw today, I guess, because Bitcoin opened with a gap down uh, in minus. And uh, as you can see now, 6%, almost 6% um, plus. So this is a statement uh, for a possible new uptrend. And exactly um, that's what we also saw here. Um, and a few other days, really a stable green candle with not um, so much um, uh, volatility above the open or close price. Um, and this normally, um, yeah, in implements that the next um, one or two days we will see um, yeah, continue movement in this range. So from the charting itself, I would predict the next days it um, will continue to go up and for a possible downtrend, like I said, for me, very important here, um, this price level around the $45,000. Um, um, yeah, and um, for the momentum itself, you can also see um, things might also change here soon with another candle like today we can have a, also um, a new cross between the two lines what we see here below and I think uh, what I told you earlier um, even it's not always um, exactly the same but here you can see crossing the um, upper line to the yellow line was also the last high we can see it here in the same way one day after the um, all time high. Um, it also crossed the yellow line um, again and uh, maybe on the other hand side we can see now exactly the um, different movement that we will have a change um, and it will go um, in this way up again. Um, so from this side uh, it's really a possible reversal so far from the indication. I mean as I said volume there's nothing um, special at the moment um, and in total from a, uh, for a long-term perspective uh, for the next two, three months, um, there is at the moment still nothing to worry about. So, and if you want to see more info, uh, more videos or more interesting um, content, please subscribe or feel free to subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment, uh, give us some feedback. We will be happy for it. Um, 
have a great day and stay safe.